Hey, what is up? This is Tyler Pratt. So let me ask you a question. Are you looking for ways to make money online? Are you getting frustrated with all of the crap that's out there? Well, in this video, I'm going to give you eight unique online business ideas that you can start making money right away starting today. And we're going to do it like a total boss. So if you're just coming to the video for the first time, I like to talk to you about creating that lifestyle for yourself, that total boss lifestyle where you get to do the fun things that you want and you're not tied down to uh, somebody else telling you what to do and you can really basically live out your own dreams that you want. So before we do that though, before we get into the, to these eight unique business ideas, click on that uh, subscribe button, click on that bell option, that way you get notified of all of the videos that I come out with to you on a daily basis. So let's get into the uh, really unique ways to get online business rolling for yourself. And these uh, eight ways, uh, are things that you could start right away. Now, the first one is going to be SEO consultant. If you're not familiar with SEO, it's search engine optimization. And what it is is it's, you can go to businesses. You can go to uh, tons of businesses. You can go to local businesses. You can go to online businesses. And what you do is you help them get ranked into Google or even you know any other search engines. But Google is really the biggest right now. So what you're going to do is you're just going to find different um, companies that are looking, that are struggling to, to get more traffic to their website. And what you're going to do is help them get ranked on Google. Now you don't really have to know anything about SEO. You can actually go to places like seoclerk.com and you can find other SEO professionals. And you, what you can do is uh, basically buy the service from them and then turn around and sell that service to the business in your local area. Okay. So SEO consultant is going to be the first way to get up and get running. The next one is going to be business coach. Now you, I know there's something out there that, that you're good at, that you, uh, you know, that there's people out there that need your assistant, uh, you know, need your knowledge on. There's something out there that I know that you could teach me. So becoming a business coach is going to be uh, the second really great way to get up and get running with your online business. There's lots of people out there that just need help. They just need help on a daily basis or they need, you know, a, a monthly basis. You could set up a Skype account. You could just do over the phone. You could do uh, through video uh, conferencing if you want. All kinds of great tools online that you can do that. But you can be a, a, you know, a business coach. You could go to businesses and you could just help coach them about online. Okay. So think of, you know, just if you don't know any skills, find a, a small skill that you could help somebody go to a business and then become their coach. The third one is going to be web design. Now you're probably thinking, well, web design, uh, you know, I don't know how to do that. A lot of these things that I teach you, you can actually go and find very inexpensive workers. Okay. You can go to two places like Upwork and you can find people that could, that would do web design for very cheap. So let's say you hire uh, somebody in at Upwork and they do web design for, um, let's say, I don't know, hundred dollars to, to create a website. Well, you could turn around and take that uh, web design, go to a local business or any other business, and you could charge them to 250, 300, 400 dollars. So you just basically pay the, the designer on Upwork, they do the work, and then you uh, present that work to the business. Okay, so all that is is you're just really just a middleman. You're going to the businesses, you're finding the business that need web design and then you hire it out with people at Upwork. So you don't really know, have to know any web design. You can get up and get running using other people uh, at Upwork. The next one is going to be assistant and task manager. So this one's kind of an easy one. There's a lot of businesses out there, a lot of people out there online that there's a lot of different little tasks that they do on a daily basis that you could actually do those for them. Uh, I know this is, this could take, you know, take some, some time, some effort, but you could just go and, and find out what tasks they do on a daily basis and then you can perform those for them and then you can get paid to do that. Okay, so be, become a task manager or like an assistant, maybe, you know, assistant to a business owner or assistant to a, a CEO of a company. Okay, you can do those things remotely. You can do those things online. You don't have to physically be with the person. You can, uh, you know, get airline tickets for them or, or book a hotel or reservations or things like that. So you can do little things that they do that you could come in and, and do that for them. The next one is going to be social media consultant. Okay, so social media consultant is is really just taking Twitter and, and Facebook.
Facebook, YouTube, all these social platforms, go into a business and saying, hey, I'll monitor and, and I'll manage all of your social media accounts. Because there's, there's a lot of business owners out there that just don't want to have anything to do with social media. And it's not that they just, it's not that they don't want to get on it, it's just that they don't, number one, they don't understand it, because usually they're older, okay, so they're not going to really understand social media. They're not going to know the importance of it, but that's what's good for you is you could go in and you could say, look, I'll manage your accounts. You could actually set up uh, you know, a, a social media account that's in their name, their picture, but you are actually doing the posting for them. So it looks like it's coming from that business owner. And business owners will love that because it makes them look like they're active on social media all the time, but it's actually you that's doing it, so it, it's freeing up their time their, so they don't have to worry about social media. Okay, so, so social media consultant would be you actually going out there and doing the work and, and posting and, and making the social media uh, platform big for business owners. Now, the, the sixth one is going to be um, tech support. So people out there, they're, they're, they, I don't know if you've ever had tech support where you call up somebody and they're, they're from another country and you, you really can't understand what they're saying and they, they're trying to help you out and it just becomes a real mess. Business owners out there, they don't like to call tech support, but they need tech support. So it's like almost they have to struggle and, and call this, this tech support where people that are on the other country and they don't understand them and then they get frustrated. So you as a tech person could be tech support for businesses, local businesses that need tech support. So there's, you know, just my, you know, my parents are always looking for tech support. Okay. And that's an example. I don't charge my parents, but think about all the, the business owners in your local town or your area that are older, that don't know about tech. And then you come along and you could help them uh, as a tech support person. You could charge them a one-time fee. You could charge them a retainer every month. You set up that fee with them, but you could, you could get all kinds of businesses that are looking to have tech support. And all they're going to do is just call you up and say, hey, listen, I can't figure this out. And a lot of times it's, it's you know, so simple, ridiculously easy, but to them, they need it done. You know, sometimes people are like, I don't know how to email. That could be a tech support issue. I don't know how to turn on my computer. That could be a tech support issue. You can come along and you can charge people for that because they don't want to call somebody in India. They want to be able to call somebody locally. They want to call somebody they know, and they want to be able to call somebody that knows what they're doing. The seventh um, unique way, business idea, is going to be blogging. Okay, blogging is going to be, uh, and really what you're going to be doing is a blogger. Now, you don't really necessarily have to become this huge blogger. You could actually blog for another company. If there's companies out there that that want to get into blogging, they want to have a blog up and running, you could boot, you could do the blogging for them. Now, you don't necessarily have to do the writing or editing. You can actually go and hire somebody else to do the blog post for you. And then what you do is you just charge that company per blog post or per month, whatever it is. What I would highly recommend you doing is you find somebody who can create a blog post on Upwork or Fiverr, and if they charge you $20 for a blog post, you could turn right around and, and you know, charge $50 or $100 to that company for that blog post that you put on there. So a lot of these things are going to be where they're going to be, you could hire somebody to do these for you. You could, you get, you could outsource these. You could have other people doing these, these certain things because there's a lot of business out there that, a lot of business out there that need these services and you could come in and start making money with them. And the last one, the eighth and most uh, valuable one I think is going to be affiliate marketing. Okay, so you come in and you can become a, an affiliate marketer. You can affiliate marketing yourself. You can affiliate marketing for other businesses. You could actually do affiliate marketing for companies out there. So if a company out there has a product or service, you could become just an affiliate manager or affiliate marketer for that company. You can go out there and help them promote their products. And when they get sales, you, you get a percentage of the sale. It could be 50%, 75%, whatever it is. Any new sales to a company is valuable to them because they have a new customer. That new customer, they could sell more products and they could offer more services. So getting that initial customer in the door and you as an affiliate marketer could help them out, then you could uh, become you know, super wealthy doing that. So there you go, those, those are the eight unique ones. Let's, let's go over them again, SEO consultant, okay? So you just go in and you can find um, companies that need SEO work. Uh, help them get ranked inside of Google. Business coach. There's there's lots of businesses out there that need coaching. They need uh, daily reminders of things. They need help with certain things. You become a business coach. Web design. 
companies that need web design out there. You could hire somebody from Upwork, from Fiverr, charge, you could, you could pay them and then turn around and charge the company uh, a higher fee for that. Um, the fourth one is going to be assistant task manager. So there's a lot of companies, a lot of business owners that, don't, that they don't uh, have a lot of time. So you come in and become the task manager doing a lot of the little things for them and charge them a fee for it. Social media consultant. So this is going to be where you're going to be managing other businesses, business owners' accounts. You're the so social media um, consultant. And then tech support where you help businesses help, you know, help them with their tech issues that they have. And I'm telling you, business owners, a lot of the older ones, they don't understand tech for anything and they'll pay any amount of money for great tech support. And then blogging, if you want to become a blogger for yourself or you can help a company with their blogging efforts and, and you can outsource this, you can hire this and get people to do that and you can charge a difference uh, or you know charge a higher fee to the company owner. And then lastly is going to be affiliate marketing. You can either do affiliate marketing for yourself or you could go off and, and help companies promote their products or service and then you get a percentage of that uh, sale that they make. All right, so there you go. Those are the, the online business ideas that you can start making money with right away starting today. If you like this video, click on the like button. Also share it with your friends. Comment below, let me know how I can help your business. This is Tyler Pratt, hope you enjoy that and we will see you on the next one.